We'll briefly look in this video at six ways to use quizzes as well as the way quizzes have been used to structure an online activity. So quizzes can be used for lecture review. These are useful when lecture slides are not verbatim uh, to see if students have actually captured all the information needed. And they can also be used to interpret lecture ideas as well. So taking the ideas that were discussed in the lecture forward, putting them in an applied context and seeing how students interpret the information provided. We can use them for pre-session polls. So we can use the data that's collected from these polls, these quizzes, these surveys, um, or quiz in survey mode to include the input from the students in the actual session. So we can use their raw data themselves or we can use these quizzes to inform us as to what needs to be covered in the lecture. It could be that the pre-session poll identifies something that wasn't quite grasped in a previous lecture that could be recapped later on. Self-paced online study, the flipped classroom approach. Uh, you can use quizzes to structure the online learning, freeing up classroom time for discussion. You can also use quizzes for continuous formative work, actually collecting up real scores and seeing how scores progress for each student over the course of a term. Very good at identifying weaker students, but it can be self-selecting if it's not a compulsory activity or, or monitored in any way. Um, it, the, the research shows that weak students tend to avoid actually engaging with these resources. Um, students who are naturally perform well will engage with them uh, and see the benefit in them. So you have to uh, set some expectations if you want to use this as a, as a way of measuring students um, in a formative way and helping them out by seeing where they might be uh, weak in, in particular topic areas. You can also use them for revision purposes, practice exams, providing meaningful feedback to students uh, based on their actual responses to the practice questions. And you can also design specific learning activities. For example, if you had an activity where you wanted to look at a graph, students interpretations of these graphs, students interpretations of data, perhaps looking around the world, um, or interpreting case studies, things like that, you can add in as additional learning activities using quizzes as the uh, learning structure behind it.